Hey Google, when did George Floyd die? George Floyd died on May 25th, 2020. Hey Google, what day is it today? It is Friday, July 17th, 2020. Hey Google, when was the Black Lives Matter movement created? The Black Lives Matter was founded on July 13th, 2013. Which I believe was after Trayvon Martin's death. Um, it's been almost two months since Floyd's death, and I wholeheartedly believe that it'd be insensitive of me to just continue posting on my channel, on my YouTube channel, without saying anything, and I was, I'm nervous to make this video because I don't want to say the wrong thing or want to hurt anybody. And to be quite frank with you, it is white privilege to be able to ignore injustice that happens every single day in other minority groups. Um, that's why I'm just very out there on social media, I'll admit it, but someone's gonna do it, someone's gonna speak up about it. I should have spoken up about this a long, long time ago. So recently, I've, I've watched 13th documentary on Netflix which talks about Jim Crow laws criminalizing black people and how that plays into the criminal justice system. The presidencies of Nixon, Reagan, Clinton. It goes more in depth about the federal crime bill of 1994. And I just learned a lot from that and I am going to rewatch it because there's a lot of information to retain and comprehend definitely recommend that you watch it if you don't know where to start with wanting to be a better ally for the black community i've also recently written emails to the colleges um that the boys from princeton high school in princeton new jersey will be attending this upcoming fall why i wrote those emails and those emails pertain to the fact that these group of boys were at a party and it was on Snapchat, this girl was filming how they were dancing and shouting the N-word twice, which is unacceptable. It is disgusting behavior, to say the least. And they shouted the N-word twice uh, while this girl filmed it and put it on Snapchat, so of course, I emailed the colleges so that they will be aware of what these boys were doing because there needs to be consequences for the, their actions. I also post daily on Instagram because I love Instagram, as one does, and I include a new petition to sign in my bio almost every single day because petitions are important. Go sign them. I am asking you right now to Leave this video and go sign a petition and then come back. And then also on the daily, I share posts on my story for BLM resources, topics discussed related to racism, privilege, white supremacy, how to be a better ally um, on Facebook to post people of color's TikToks that discuss blatant racism in this country and their point of view and just videos of what black people just ex experience in their lives and their perspectives. So I try to do it as much as I can on that. And that's on that, that's on period. So going forward, I am planning to donate money to organizations and charities for BLM that support black lives, black women's lives, black trans lives, that um, LGBTQ plus community, and just minority groups in general. I also would love to dive into protesting, but for security reasons and safety reasons, I won't be talking about that. I also, going forward, I'm going to reshare more posts. Um, from people of color because this directly affects them. I'm also going to be signing petitions. I feel like I've signed every single petition on change.org, but 
but there's definitely more that I don't know about. Try to get more people on and speaking up about about issues that not only directly affect them and that it's okay to be selfless and want to care about other people. Like, I don't know how to explain to other people that you should care about other people. Going forward, I am also going to be buying from Black-owned businesses, local businesses, small businesses. I'm trying to stay away from big corporations, big multi-billionaire companies. I'm also going forward trying to watch and listen slash stream to videos that donate to uh, BLM organizations. There's a ton on YouTube. I'll link them down below actually so you can go check them out. You don't even have to watch or listen. You can just stream it on and play it in the background while you're doing laundry or whatever. And now for this video, I will move on to a very special segment I like to call what Ashiki says. She actually co-owns, I think, Beauty with her sis with her sister Abby. And um they make amazing lip products. Y'all would enjoy them. Uh super moisturizing. And there's like maracuja oil, vegan, cruelty free. There you go. Amazing. We stand. We stand legends. Small black owned business. Go support it. Link, I'll put link in the bio. And now my lips are not that crusty anymore. So, of course, I DM'd Ashiki on Instagram about a month and a half ago. Here's what she says Follow activists on social media. So we have Sean King, Kendrick Sampson, who played Caleb in. How to Get Away with Murder. Oh, amazing. Okay, Dere McKesson, Alicia Garza, Opal Tometi, and Color of Change. Next, she said to sign petitions. Um, she quoted, they do a lot more work than we realize because the organizers use those to say, look, people care. And of course, um, you can sign petitions on change.org. She also left a link to an article on medium.com uh, titled Five Ways White People Can Take Action in Response to White and State Sanctioned Violence. I'm not going to go into too depth um, into that article, but I'll leave a link for that article down below as well so you can go check it out and it goes in detail about what you can do in response to white and state sanctioned violence, but the top five ways are come out as anti-racist and invite others to join you. Join fights to defund the police. Make a commitment to organize your own for the long haul. Focus on building our numbers and not being right. And lastly, help resource the work of Black-led groups that are fighting for police accountability and abolition. And she also said to support Black-owned businesses and GoFundMes, which I am also trying to do more in the future and right now. Last but not least, which is the most important I feel, is to educate yourself. Find out why black people are angry, why black people are unhealthy, why black women in hospitals are like oil and water. I really encourage all of you to speak up and create this converse important conversation with your family and friends, neighbors, and even just saying something on social media other than just posting a black fucking square and then not doing anything about it afterwards, which to me screams privilege. Racism is a human rights issue. It's not a political issue. We're not gonna be debating human lives here that deserve to be here and not be senselessly killed every single day. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll try to respond to you as fast as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, start with what you have, not with what you want. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.